Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, we're going to talk about how to properly import R3D footage into Premiere. So the way I would usually import non R3D files, whether it's B-RAW or MP4 or whatever you, you want to import into Premiere, I would just go into my project file, uh, folder, sorry. And then I would have like all my raw images right there and I would just import them, drag and drop them into that window right there. And it, they will all uh, appear in that window. Um, you can't really do that with red footage because the way red cameras operate and work is um, they're essentially taking the clip and they're splitting the clip into different segments of four gigs each. Um, that means that if you import it the way I would usually do it for MP4 or even B-RAW, um, you would end up with a folder with lots of clips like this. You can see here you have one, two, three, four, five, six, six uh, segments of four gigs um, that are not really linked together. And by doing so, you end up having a really messy folder structure um, to work with. So the proper way to import R3 files is through the media browser. You would just have to click here, find the folder in which all your clips are. And there you have it. See, uh, Premiere essentially stitches together all the files uh, together. So you end up only having one clip and then right click import, imports into your project folder. And then there you have it. You only have one clip. All right, guys, well, that's it for today's video. If you if this video helped you in any ways, uh, please leave a comment down below, like and subscribe to the channel. I'm going to try to come up with a lot more of these tutorials that are no bullshit, no rambling around. Um, and you know straight to the point i'll see you in the next one guys peace